Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to build upon the success of my world famous how to make the world's best bar style or tavern style pickled eggs video, number one on YouTube. I'm going to show you how to make pickled sausages. It's pretty similar procedure wise, but uh, I wanted to show you the ingredients first. Uh, I don't like a lot of heat, but I do like spices, so I'm going to use one jalapeno pepper. For color, I've got a red pepper, yellow pepper, and a green bell pepper. I've got an onion that I'll dice up. I've got fresh garlic. For pepper or for spices, I've got cayenne pepper, pickling spices, alum, and garlic powder just to add a little more kick to the uh, fresh one. And of course, you're going to have to have distilled white vinegar. I use sea salt, and what we're going to pickle are our hot dogs. These are bun length hot dogs, all beef. Uh, Twelve of them are a pound and a half. So these are the ingredients we're going to start with to make our pickled sausages and uh, that should give you a good start. Again, modify as your palate desires. But uh, before we start pickling these things, we need a container to pickle them. Okay, this is my pickling container. I bought this at Walmart, six of them for about $11. It's a half gallon ball mason jar. I like it because it's got enough volume where as I take out the sausages, the remaining sausages will start to fall down and they'll always be under the top of the layer of the pickling juices. So they'll always be in the pickling juices. Okay, I've scrubbed all these good because I don't know where they've been before they got to my kitchen. So I just uh, clean them off to be safe. Uh, I'm not a professional chef, I'm just a very good cook, so you're probably going to be critical of my cutlery skills. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably do about a quarter cup of each one of these, just dice them up, maybe strip them up a little bit. I'll do the whole jalapeno, about half of the pepper here, all of this, and about a quarter of this one. So I'll just uh, cut these up, probably go through uh, double time just to speed it up for you. Okay, I fast forwarded all that for your enjoyment. Hope you like the banjo music. I love that song. Uh, just so I can tell later on when I'm going to eat a pepper versus a uh, jalapeno, I'm just going to cut this one up in rings and leave it as rings because I am uh, a little bit weary of the real spicy stuff. We'll just save these on the side while we get to work. All right, everybody, I've got all the ingredients ready to get together. Uh, let's go over these one more time. In particular, I'll pay attention to the spices. I've got my garlic all minced up. The total is about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I've got two tablespoons of sea salt. Regular salt will work, too. I just like the texture of sea salt. I've got a whole tablespoon of uh, pickling spices. You can get these at the supermarket. It's already a predetermined mix of spices for pickling. I've got half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper to give it some kick. I've got a quarter teaspoon of alum. Alum will give it that crisp snap. Uh, I like these things not to be just uh, rubbery. I like them snappy. And then I also have a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and that's just going to give this fresh garlic a little more kick. I've got about a half a cup of minced onion, and then I've got my one jalapeno pepper, my red pepper, yellow pepper, and green pepper, green pepper ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these things together with a little bit of white distilled vinegar and bring them to a simmer before adding them to the jar.
Okay, this smells wonderful. It's start starting to heat up. While that heats for a second, I'm going to prepare the container. Nothing cosmic on the sausages. Just open them up. Some people like to cut them up a little bit. I still do the method of taking a toothpick and I'm going to poke a hole on each side of this hot dog to let the pickling juices get in there a little bit and make them crisp and pickled on the inside as well. Turn this off. It smells wonderful, actually. It smells really good. So I, I don't spill this precious pickling, and this smells so good you won't believe it. I'm gonna put this. Parker, get out of here. That's my 13-year-old emphysemic Jack Russell Terrier hacking up a lung behind us. Get Park, go. So I'm gonna dump all this in here so it'll be easier to pour into the jar. It's okay, we've got the hot mixture of spices in there. All we need to do now is top off this jar with more distilled vinegar. Then we'll cap it and shake it. This is cold. Cover up all the sausages. And then the hard part begins. We need to wait a couple of weeks. But that's life. All good things you must wait for. Okay. Up to the top. We are going to cap this, collar it, and do my workout here. Just shake this. Remember, we poked holes, holes in the sausages, but we're going to up and down, get a good mixture of all those fluids, all those ingredients, all those spices with the vinegar and the sausages, and then we're going to stick it in the fridge. Let it sit for a few weeks.